my name is Kenny Lyman. I'm a member of the UC Robotics team. Today I just want to take a little time and explain some modifications we've been doing uh, in preparation for the DARPA Urban Challenge. Um, this is our Jeep. This is a, it's a hybrid Jeep. It started out as a bare bones model that the Army was using as a prototype. Um, we got it donated to us, so in order to get it ready for the competition and all the tests we had to do, we had to make several modifications, um, some of which include uh, just getting it street legal, um, among others. Um, so some of the things we had to do to get it street legal, uh, besides just getting a title and license, uh, we had to wire up all the lights and install working switches. Um, we had to install horn. The windshield is very important because it has to be shatterproof, so we had to get that installed. Uh, right here we have the steering column. Uh, originally this steering column has uh, no power steering, so it made it a lot easier to install our own system in here. Uh, right here we have a gearbox that we installed. This is a 10 to 1 ratio gearbox um, in order to make uh, more power for the for the steering with uh, less torque required in the motor. This is a three-quarter horsepower servo motor. Um, it, it has a galil motion control on it. Um, and this can be rotated to any position that we want um, at practically any speed. Um, and it makes steering a lot easier. With this system also, we're able to control it, the vehicle, manually as well as autonomously. I'm gonna show you our modified braking system. Um, right here we have a brake actuator, which is basically a pump. Um, this particular model is designed for a truck trailer brake. Um, it's electronically controlled and it's tapped into the brake line. Um, it basically increases the pressure in the line, just as a brake pedal would do. Um, our brake pedal also works. Uh, we can use either the manual or this pump, um, which makes it convenient for us. So in order to stop it, we have it uh, computer control that also can adjust that. I'm Jacob Watchman, and I'm going to talk about the speed control. The speed control for manually is controlled here from its pedal. So we unhook the pedal and use this little board that we have here to uh, make four levels of the speed control. And then with the computers, we can type in using the parallel port. We can put in different levels of the speed control and make it go at four discrete levels. My name is Scott Reynolds. I'm a member of the UC Robotics team, and I'm going to talk to you guys quickly about um, various different sensors and the computer system on board our Jeep here. Our Jeep here is, is designed as a distributed uh, complex system where each uh, PC itself is responsible for a small subset of the sensors, um, and they can kind of combine together to uh, produce um, a full working system. Um, so we have up here, uh, for instance, one PC is responsible for controlling the motor controller and each one kind of communicates back and forth with that. We have over here, we have our laser scanner, which is used for obstacle detection. Our various different camera systems mounted on the top of the Jeep here um, uh, for line detection and uh, road detection. Uh, we are using uh, our GPS on top of the Jeep, um, so that way we keep ourselves on our path. Uh, that's about it. All right, this is the e-stop test. The e-stop is on a box that we can't currently see from this angle, but it's behind the power supply we see, and is activated by either the two side buttons, which we can see the one there, or this remote. Now this, this remote has three channels. It's run, pause, and stop, just like in the DARPA thing. Currently, pause is not implemented. Now, we're going to have him start the car, and then we'll hit channel three and the car will stop. In this demonstration, we are now going to show the use of the manual side buttons for the emergency stop. 